while I concede this election, I do not concede the fight that fueled this campaign. Something I hope we can do, uh, no matter who you voted for, is see each other not as adversaries, but as fellow Americans. Bring down the temperature. I also hope we can lay to rest the question about the integrity of the American electoral system. It is honest, it is fair, and it is transparent. And it can be trusted, win or lose. For over 200 years, frankly, this America has carried out the greatest experiment political and self government of all time. There's never been anything like this in this country. Today, I spoke with President-elect Trump to congratulate him on his victory. And I assured him that I would direct my entire administration to work with his team to ensure a peaceful and orderly transition. That's what the American people deserve. spoke with Vice President Harris. She's been a partner and a public servant. She ran an inspiring campaign, and everyone got to see something that I learned early on to respect so much, her character. She has a backbone like a ramrod. She has great character, true character. She gave her whole heart and effort, and she and her entire team should be proud of the campaign they ran. duty as president. I'll fulfill my oath, and I will honor the Constitution. On January 20th, we'll have a peaceful transfer of power here in America. That's not like her, but that's a fact. For the people. You know, we're leaving behind the strongest economy in the world. We're leaving behind the strongest economy in the world. I know people are still hurting, but things are changing rapidly. Together, we've changed America for the better. Now we have 74 days to finish the term, our term. Let's make every day count. That's the responsibility we have to the American people. Look, folks, you all know it in your lives. Setbacks are unavoidable. But giving up is unforgivable. Setbacks are unavoidable, but giving up is unforgivable. We all get knocked down. <clears throat> but the measure of our character, as my dad would say, is how quickly we get back up. Welcome to this special edition of Vantage, live from the White House. America is Trump country again. He will be the 47th president of the United States of America. We are live from the White House, soon to be the new residence of Donald Trump. It was also here that Donald Trump brokered the Abraham Accords. So the voters have a legitimate question in their minds. If those presidents could do it, why not Joe Biden? The Arab voters want to punish the Democrats for supporting Israel. Joe Biden's shadow looms large over this election, and Kamala Harris may end up paying the price for it. This Trump hat, it says, President Trump save America. But this hat is made in China. 
and this is the Chinese interference that Americans must be investigating. But off late, Donald Trump and the Republicans have made some gains and the biggest reason for that is illegal immigration. This is more than just a march, they say. This is a demand for accountability. The excitement, the tension is palpable. You can see the security presence. You can see the number of police cars, government buildings like these again, again fenced up. We are at Harvard University, the alma mater of Kamala Harris. As the night progressed, uh, numbers came in thick and fast, and Donald Trump was soon declared the winner. It's been called a historic comeback. Another American presidency will begin. In Donald Trump's case, his second one.